Hello everybody, Kim John. I mean Steven here and uh, welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Now today we are going to be attempting to three crown us some lower level players with the rocket card. Now I haven't done this card in its own deck for a while. I'm pretty sure I did like an all spells deck but never the rocket alone. So we're pretty much going to be using the log, the ice spear or whatever else we can use to defend and I'll be mostly using my rocket to three crown them. So most of my spells are going to be like low costing spells that are just for cycling and defending. So I'm not going to be able to get a lot of damage off except with the rocket. So I also need to put in the mirror. Maybe I'll switch out the heal spell because that is pretty much useless. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just go with this deck. I can't really find any other card to replace it with. Now one more thing before we hop into the battles, I would just like to say that if you guys do enjoy Clash Royale drop trolling, be sure to smack that like button down below. Every like is really appreciated. Let's try to shoot for 300 likes on today's video. I really appreciate all the recent support guys and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications to stay updated with my latest uploads. And don't forget to tell me what card you want to see me troll with or what deck comp you want to see me troll with in the next video. So right now, we got level 11 towers with an amazing rocket deck comp. Let's go nuke some people. Alright boys, first battle of the day. We're up against a level 2 player, so let's just go ahead. I'll cycle to the rocket. Let me just go ahead and drop an elixir collector in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and rage up all my towers right here. Rocket's up already, but I also have to be pretty cautious against what he does decide to place down. Because if he does have a good push comp... He could easily take my tower if I don't have enough elixir to defend. So yeah, this guy's doing pretty well now with the witch behind the giant. He also has some spear goblins coming in. So like this guy definitely knows what he's doing right here. Like he is making a pretty good push for my tower and he's probably going to take it too. But with both of my king tower and arena tower defending, I'm pretty sure he won't get a three crown if I at least take out the witch in the back and all these swarm troops. So I'm just going to go ahead arrow right here. He also has a mini P.E.K.K.A. The giant is already down, but I do have the log. He's going to wipe out the rest of his push. So yeah, we prevented him from getting a three crown. He did get a one crown as a matter of fact, but it doesn't really matter because our two towers have a really high DPS, especially against these level one giants. Like, you'd be surprised about how well my towers do do against lower level players. Like, there's these some battles where I completely AFK, I don't taunt, I don't drop any troops, and yet the lower level player who I'm trophy dropping on, he still doesn't manage to three crown me. You'll like see them at the end, and they'll only have one crowned my tower, and I'm just sitting there. Three minutes waiting for them to three crown me so I can move on to another battle and they're still there trying desperately spamming baby dragons on my king tower only to have it get like one shot off and then die instantly like they seriously don't know how to push but this guy he's getting a bit desperate right here because he knows what I'm doing I'm spamming rockets on him so he just pretty much threw two of his troops into a death trap like to be honest if he actually made a good push I probably would be defending right here like he did do good at the start with the initial giant push but if he kept it up he probably could have beat me and now I'm just gonna go ahead you know kind of let his giant walk to my tower you know we'll give him a bit of hope right here see what he does and if I incorrectly time the rocket well we're pretty much screwed so I mean I'm gonna drop the rocket a bit early because if I do it like any time after the mini P.E.K.K.A does get to my tower well it's gonna end up three crowning me, you know, it does a bunch of damage, especially with that knight in the back with those spear goblins and the giant. So anyways, good game, well played. To be honest, if Mr. Gucci Bags, if he did play well enough, I definitely think that he could have beat me right there, especially because I didn't have any high damage spells. I only had the zap arrows and log. He could have easily baited out one of those. He did have a witch, which could have survived like at least one of my spells. And he also had the giant along with the mini P.E.K.K.A. So he definitely could have even forced me to use the rocket on defense at one point if he did pressure my towers enough. But he just ended up 
dropping a bunch of troops and just burning them on my king tower after I ended up rocketing his tower down to about like 1200 HP which he still had a chance at that point but he pretty much gave it up after he just started spamming down troops. Next battle we're up against a level 3 player this time we start off with the rocket in our initial hand so yeah this guy is going to start with initial push with a really aggressive prince right here luckily I did have the zap to stop his charge now I'm just gonna go ahead and toss my rocket at him. He is going to fireball me. So like I immediately lose all the respect I had for this guy because he actually came up with a pretty good push with the prince as a tank for the skeleton army. And now he's just gonna drop a golem barrel on random. He really should have saved that. I'm just gonna go ahead and rocket him again, you know. Chip down that tower to 1,600 HP. I always forget how much damage these rockets actually do to towers. Like after the rocket got nerfed, I kind of overlooked it for a while and it became meta only in that one hog rider deck when you would end off with a rocket victory, but you necessarily wouldn't spam rockets at your opponent. But now, like, the rocket, I mean, they do a significant amount of damage, especially when they're level 9 and you clone, I mean, not clone, when you mirror the rockets. And if you have a high level mirror, you're obviously going to do a lot of damage. So he does have a prince with the skeleton army going with that same prince skeleton army push right here now he is going to take the one crown like i'm not even going to try to stop that i'm pretty sure if i did arrow he would still probably end up taking the one crown with the prince so i'm just going to go ahead rocket his tower right here i do have to start defending pretty soon because his giant is going to get a lot of chip on my tower and he has a goblin barrel too so he might win at this point if i didn't have the log or arrows also have the zap just in case but one more rocket we should be able to finish him off so let's just go ahead burn the zap right there he does have a knight he isn't gonna go for any more pushes because he's pretty desperate right now he does have a prince now i gotta go ahead counter this because the prince he does do a lot of damage and it's just one of these uh ranges where the prince doesn't get shot by the arena tower so that's pretty bad for me but you know a few more seconds and he could have won with that skeleton army push which is pretty close to be honest like if you have close battles i'm pretty sure you get on tv royale so one of these days i'm bound to get on tv royale through an arena one battle trolling a low level player and I've honestly seen people do that before, like, uh, there's these higher level trophy droppers that would stage really close battles, like, they would rocket a level 1's tower down to, like, 10 or 50 HP, and then have the level 1 3 crown them, so they got a really high chance of being put on TV Royale, and at one point, there was, like, 50% of TV Royale filled with these higher level players trophy dropping to get on the arena one tv royale because it was absolutely insane how you could just easily forge a really close battle but anyways we're joining our next battle against a level three player lucas good luck to you man we start off with the rocket so you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go for a straight up aggressive rocket right there i'm gonna miss the valkyrie unfortunately but Still, I'm pretty sure he's planning a pretty big push right now. If he did have the Prince, it could have made for a really good offense early game right now. But looks like he is going to replace the Prince with the Mini Pekka. This is actually pretty scary. Like, if he did have the Prince, that would do a lot of damage to my tower. And potentially at least one crowner right here because I don't really have that much of a heavy spell. But the Mini Pekka is easily going to be able to get torn to shreds by my tower. So now he drops a giant after his damaged troops just all end ended up dying i do have the rage spell but it looks like he's actually going to take a one crown right there because of that musketeer backup so well played man you already took the one crown like in the first minute with a pretty interesting push like i thought the giant wouldn't have one crowned me with the musketeer but like it turns out he kind of split his pushes up had one push chip down my tower hp to 50 percent and just had the other one clean up but it's a whole different story when I have two towers active and now it's definitely going to be really hard for him to take the three crown. I have the log just in case for the skeleton army, but I have to mirror the rocket first. So let's just go ahead and drop another one on his king tower. Good game. Well played. I'm pretty sure one more rocket should be able to finish it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and cycle back through quickly. Got our spells to defend against anything he does manage to throw at us. So rocket is our next card let's go drop the log on the giant and mini pekka right now uh i'm gonna have to arrow that too because if i build the mini pekka will probably end up one crowning me all right 
King Tower with that clutch. And now I don't think he's dropping anything else. Let's just go ahead, finish this off with Rocket. Shit, dude, we almost lost to a level three player. But anyways, that clutch Rocket in the end. He also has the lightning spell. I didn't even know he had the lightning spell right there. I mean, if he used it a bit more, he probably could have three crowned me. But anyways, good game. Well played, guys. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack that like button down below. Every like is appreciated. And also, don't forget to subscribe, turn on push notifications, and be sure to post your card or deck troll suggestions in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Clash Royale video. Peace.